Right, here we go with part two of my video. Um, since the last time um, I had uh, installed the Venturi uh, fuel pump, so uh, still got a few other things to do. Um, I got most of the interior done. See it. Um, I did all the interior myself. Uh, you look real close. You know, all the red is a uh, rattle can. So uh, you look real close. It's not very, very nice. But you know, whatever. This ain't gonna be a show car. This is just for me. Um, I have a new uh, horn button. Um, I install got a aftermarket deck. Um, I have my two scan, ga scan gauges installed, but um, I still need to hook up the uh, the wide band and the oil pressure. Um, I have the seats done, uh, seats installed. I had to make uh, custom brackets and stuff for it. Well, I modified the old brackets and um, I made some some kind of I made a spacer basically. And it was just a piece of steel with a hole in it. Um, I had to do that to lift it up so it can, um, so I can actually slide it back and forth. Um, I'm still working on the, on the rear. I still need to take, uh, I still need to take that out. And, uh, I think I'm just going to just spray paint it and throw it back in, spray paint it black, throw it back in. And, um, um, the six by nines, I'm going to replace those. Um, I have yet to do the doors. Um, I finally got my wheel hubs on. Those are the Timken hubs. And, uh, I have the motor in. It's not all the way, uh, complete. I still got some, uh, um, I have to redo the, the vacuum lines and rerun the, uh, the fuel lines for the, uh, because I have the aftermarket bullet fuel lines from ZZP. You see it right there um i just have to hook i have to hook it up you know and I'm make it look a little bit nicer than what it is um as far as my intake i'm probably just going to throw my throw my cone on it that i i had on the uh the other setup um i still have to uh i have to do the rear or the crossover and the rear uh the rear header um I finally got the I got the new flex piece on that. I welded that on myself. It's not it's not bad. I had a I had some gappage right here that, that I had to I had to fix. But uh for the most part some of the welds look good. It's a they ain't got no holes, so that's pretty much all that matters. Um I do have to uh to weld in a new bung for my wide band because I need a wide band and I need uh, the factory O2 for the PCM, but I mean, but other than that, oh, I'm waiting, uh, I actually ordered this belt, too small, it's the eight rib gator back, um, yeah, it's, it's too short, so I'm waiting for the new one to come in, and then I still have to mount the, the, the intercooler, uh, the heat exchanger for the intercooler and the pump itself. And I have an oversized uh, ZZP radiator that I still need to install. But for the most part, it's uh, it's getting there. So uh, so yeah. Uh, hopefully next time on the next video I make, uh, I have it running. Hopefully, um, I still have to uh, I still have to uh, hook up my computer to, for the HP tuners to um to copy the the file and I'm going to send the file to uh to John at Intense Intense Racing to uh, for him to modify it and to basically just to give me a basic tune because I'm still new to this so I'm just going to have him just write me a basic tune until uh I get some more experience and then uh after the break in period uh I'll have um Hopefully I'll, I'll I'll be able to make them enough modifications to actually do a, a dyno tune for it. So uh, that's it. Like I say, it's a project uh, G Riviera GSX and uh, deuces.